नमा हुआ ऋषि राजपोपट रिसेंट ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैम्ब्रिज हिज थीस इज वॉज सब और मेड पब्लिक a few days ago has claimed that he has discovered the algorithm for conflict resolution in parnini's ashtadhyay he has also claimed that the traditional understanding of uh, one of the key meta rules or paribhasha sutra in uh, parnini's ashtadhyay has been incorrect and he is the first one to come up with a correct understanding uh, he has a 250 page dissertation uh, which a lot of people are reading these days So uh, I was asked to express my views on this topic, and this is uh, this video is for the same purpose. Before we go into Raj Popat's claim, uh, let me share how such kind of things usually work. In 2002, three Indian scientists, Manindra Agrawal, uh, Neeraj Kayal, and Nitin Saxena, they came up with an algorithm to determine if a number is prime or not in polynomial time. This was a breakthrough in mathematics. Uh, and how was it announced then it was uh, they first sent the, their paper to leading experts then the new york times reported that new method said to solve key problem in mathematics the new york times also said that uh, the paper has not been published yet but the authors have distributed it to leading mathematicians who expressed excitement at the finding it is only a year later that the paper was finally published in the annals of mathematics so it was submitted on 24 january 2002 published in this journal uh, on 21st march uh, accepted on 21st march 2003 and published in september 2004 so it took 2 years uh, and uh, then it was deemed as indeed a breakthrough although the results were verified very quickly and this was a problem which was verifiable Uh, because you could input a number uh, and see if the algorithm works whether the number is prime or not and it gives an answer in polynomial time so that is one development another claim for a breakthrough was made in 2002 and this was again by an indian researcher uh, vinay deolalikar who used to work for hp labs i think he still works for hp labs and he he uh, offered a scientific proof of p not equal to np math problem which is one of the millennium math problems Uh, this was, I think, in 2000. Uh, I'm sorry, 2009 or 2008. I'm, I'm not sure when. Uh, or maybe some years later, 2002, 10, 12. I'm not sure when. Uh, but then, eight to ten years have passed, and this did not. Uh, this did not pass the litmus test of peer review, so the proof has not been accepted. Uh, in the case of uh, the three uh, indian scientists who came up with the primes proof uh, they were awarded the godel prize because the proof was accepted by leading scholars leading experts in that field vinay deolalikar's proof was not at this point of time the thesis or the framework i would say it's a mini framework because it's not just the interpretation of one rule but in his thesis he has also interpreted several other rules differently he's also said that my rule uh, my interpretation does not go with some forms so either uh, to to explain for that he says that one of the sutras in parnini's ashtadhyayi is interpolated written by a later scholar which is controversial and questionable he also says that um, to uh, to explain another sutra i want to take anuvritti of one uh, part of a samas into another one and he himself says that this argument is weak so There are 30 to 40 examples, maybe more examples, where his claim seems to work and gives a cleaner or a shorter prakriya or derivation compared to the traditional methods, which involve use of several paribhashas. However, there are issues with his work also. Uh, I haven't read the thesis fully, the 250 pages, almost 250 pages. I have read till page number 160. I have noticed there are several errors. Uh, some are conceptual, some are minor. Uh, but i'm still not convinced that his uh, his uh, mini framework as i call it is compatible with the rest of the ashtadhyayi or is completely correct so i will hold my judgment till i fully read it uh, till i read the criticism till i come up with my own views or maybe my own critique a uh, few weeks later or a few days later but right now uh, i cannot verify whether it is indeed a breakthrough or if it is indeed uh uh a revolutionary development 
this is not to take anything away from the hard work that Rishi Rajput has put in. So he deserves congratulations for uh, putting in hard work, uh, writing a thought-provoking thesis, and having passed the first litmus test, which is acceptance at a mainstream university. But there's still a long way to go. Uh, it's still not been uh, published in a blind peer-reviewed or a peer-reviewed journal. It's still not been validated by leading experts in the area. So if you look at the opinions of experts on Indology list, Western experts uh, or Indian experts serving in academia. So Professor Madhavesh Pandey says he is not fully convinced. Uh, he has said he defer it to George Cardona. Uh, Professor Yanni M. Hoban, uh, the Dutch Indologist who uh, is quite well known for, on Panamian uh, publications. He has expressed uh, reservations. Uh, some people have uh, said that it looks correct, but there's no specific validation from experts in this area so far. So unless the mini framework or the framework or the thesis is published in a peer reviewed journal, unless uh, multiple experts in the area validate it, uh, say that yes, this framework is correct, it cannot be accepted as a revolutionary discovery. So to people uh, with the hype that is the greatest problem being solved, uh, to people promoting this hype, I would say, hold your horses, let's wait for judgment on the thesis. And this will take time because uh, uh, a thesis, a 250 page thesis, which obviously a lot of thought and effort has gone behind it, cannot be judged in a few hours. I'm, I'm surprised and amazed that there are some traditional scholars who are saying that we'll uh, we'll come up with a khandana or a rebuttal of the of the thesis, but well, uh, one has to first read and understand the purupaksh completely before trying to contradict it, and that's what that's where some traditional scholars have jumped the gun. They are they're trying to contradict it without even reading the thesis fully. So uh, that's uh, in a nutshell the situation right now. Uh, we uh, I personally and I think I think the scholarly community community at large. Uh, would rather wait, would rather validate and put the thesis to test. Also, I believe while uh, his focus has been on derivations uh, and his ideas uh, in some cases seemingly offer uh, cleaner or shorter derivations or prakriyas which are close to algorithms, but it's still difficult to say if that is what indeed Panani had in mind because even to to accommodate his ideas, he has to take in some, he has to interpret some more sutras differently. In fact, even uh, the question of whether 142 Vipratishedhe Paramkaryam, if it's applicable to the entire Ashtadhyayi or if it is applicable only to that Pada, is an open question. Traditional scholars say it's applicable to the entire Ashtadhyayi. Mainstream academic research, modern research, including S.D. Joshi, George Cardona, uh, they have uh, said that it, it's applicable only to that quarter, not to the entire Ashtadhyay. So there are many questions left unanswered. Uh, in his own thesis, uh, Raj Popat has claimed that he has no, at several places, that he has no uh, proof from Panini's Ashtadhyay to support this approach or that approach, but it's a prakriya uh, through which he is coming at these insights. Uh, so all these claims need to be validated. In fact, uh, the true litmus test would be to simulate, since this is an algorithmic uh, question, to simulate this mini framework on APIs like Prakriya Darshini. There's a Prakriya Darshini API. Uh, I think if, uh, so if some of you see ashtatyahi.com, then this is, uh, this is an API which lists the Prakriya or the derivation of mathematical derivation of Sanskrit uh, verbal forms. Uh, in some cases, the conjugations also, also if I remember, uh, the, I'm sorry, the uh, inflections also, if I remember correctly. So to see if the, the traditional framework with the rules and the meta rules, the additional meta rules also, Paribhasha, versus the framework proposed by uh, Rishi Raj Popat, see how many correct forms and incorrect forms they generate. because. Uh, Raj Popat himself has said that he is aware of only two incorrect forms that his pr prakriya or his understanding or his framework generates. There could be more. Uh, in fact, 
uh, one of the sutras that he has interpreted i'm uh, i'm pretty sure he has misinterpreted the sutra which is uh, uh, which will give you forms like babhu vivan and not babhu one which is a standard paninian form so i'll i'll write all these things i'm making notes it'll take some time to compile all these uh, uh, observations uh, the message i would, would like to give is hold your horses uh, let the thesis be validated study it in its entirety uh, and uh, wait till experts in the field both traditional uh, experts and academic experts give their views on it and only after it is accepted for peer review uh, in a peer reviewed journal and after it's been acknowledged by leading experts in the area only then it would be it would be a revol revolutionary discovery uh, and time is the best judge five or ten years later if nobody remembers this thesis then it was obviously not revolutionary if five to ten years later mainstream academic research uh, in in terms of number of citations or impact that this thesis has if that's immense then of course we have the proof of the pudding is in the eating so we will have seen that this was indeed a revolutionary work uh, personally i think uh, this needs closer inspection uh, these are the views that uh, even uh, yanni m hoben has expressed on the indology list and it does not it does not uh, deserve the scorn or the outright dismissal that some traditional scholars are uh, are resorting to so uh, i happened to see a video by uh, pushpa dikshit ji which was a, a very emotional response a kind of an outburst more than a scholarly response uh, this thesis has to be studied has to be tested has to be critiqued and that's it the, the the work has to be evaluated on its merits and demerits and not on who has written it or uh, whether it's critical of tradition or not because even our tradition is critical of our tradition if we say that uh, Katyana's Vartikas, a lot of people see them as criticisms of Pandini's Ashtadhyay. The Pratyakhyanas or the rejections of Vartikas and Sutras that Mahabhashya has is often seen as a criticism or improvement of uh, the Vartikas or the Sutras. Now, uh, even in our tradition, there are people who have said that uh, this is Chintya, which is, uh, which is to say in a respectable way that this is uh, to be thought about may, may not be correct so uh, criticism of tradition is fine going over the board or hype is not so even for uh, rishi raj popat it is still a claim uh, i would say it is still a claim so till the claim is uh, verified by experts i don't think uh, we should announce it as a revolutionary discovery take it in its seriousness and study it well and then come to conclusion after seeing reviews after seeing uh, publications and impact of this work in the future time to come. That's all for today. Namo.